using a common denominator to order fractions. In your Alex Pie, mouse over the light green slice, Fractions, to reveal the drop-down list of topics you need to cover. Click on Using a Common Denominator to Order Fractions. Here's an example problem. First, rewrite 9 elevenths and 5 sixths so that they have a common denominator. Then use less than, equal to, or greater than to order 9 elevenths and 5 sixths. Let's click Explain. We must rewrite the fractions so that they have a common denominator. We can use the least common denominator. The least common denominator of 11 and 6 is 66. The least common denominator is actually the least common multiple. So when we're thinking of multiples of 11 and 6, well, multiples of 11 are 11, 22, 6 doesn't go into 22, 33 doesn't work for 6, 44 doesn't work for 6, 55 doesn't work for 6, but 66 does because 6 will also go into 66. So 66 is our least common denominator. So for this one, we think 11 times what is 66? Well, 11 times 6 is 66. And what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So we take 9 times 6 also, and the equivalent fraction for 9 elevenths, when we're thinking about 66 sixths, is 54 66 sixths. Now over here to 5 6. 6 times what is 66? Well, 6 times 11 is 66, so we have to take the top number also times 11. 5 times 11 is 55. The rewritten fractions are 54 66 and 55 66. So now we can clearly see which one's larger and which one's smaller. 54 is less than 55, so we have 54 66 is less than 55 66. Writing these fractions in their original form, so 54 66, the 54 was with 9 elevenths. So 9 elevenths is less than 5 sixths. So the original answer, 11 times 6 is 66, 9 times 6 is 54, 6 times 11 is 66, 5 times 11 is 55. So then we can see that 54 is less than 55 or 9 elevenths is less than 5 sixths. Let's try another one. First, rewrite 1 ninth and 2 fifteenths so that they have a common denominator. Then use less than, equal to, or greater than to order 1 ninth and 2 fifteenths. Here are my notes for 1 ninth and 2 fifteenths. Well, so that I can compare these fractions, I need to have the least common denominator or the same denominator, and then I can compare the numerators. To find the least common denominator, I actually need to look at the least common multiple. So I did my multiples for 15 first. I think it's easier to do 15 because it's a larger number. And so 15 times 1 is 15, 9 won't go into 15. Times 2 is 30, 9 doesn't go into 30. Times 3 is 45, 9 goes into 45, so I'll stop there. And then I just showed my multiples for 9 until I got to 45. So 45 is going to be my least common denominator. So let's think about 1 9 first. 9 times what is 45? Well, 9 times 5. What I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 1 times 5 is 5. 15 times what is 45? Well, 15 times 1, 2, 3 times 3 is 45. What I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. 2 times 3 is 6. Now I can see that this one is larger than this one. So 1 ninth is less than 
two fifteenths. In my Alex screen, copy over what I got in my notes. One ninth is five forty fifths. Two fifteenths is six forty fifths. So now we can see that one ninth is less than two fifteenths. And click next. And it says that I got the correct answer. Thanks for watching.